a lightweight contest over six rounds between Michael Ofer Dodu and Eric Kwam. Eric Kwam from the Free Square Boxing Gym and Michael Ofer Dodu from the Atokwashi Boxing Gym. Officials for this bout. Judge 1, Clement Ashon. Judge 2, Confidence Siagbo. And Judge 3, Shadrach Akwe. The man in charge of this fight is May Mason Akako. So now let's welcome the boxer, Eric Kwam. So can we welcome the boxer Eric Kwam? Welcome the boxer Michael Ofer Dodo. Well, we are ready for bout number two, and this is a lightweight contest over six rounds. But I can't get a say of the Luxe Paint, Paint to Move Champion, and supported by Renault, Techno, TCL, Max Bar, and IMAX. We're live on Max Television. Today is night number three. Officials for this bout is Clement Ashon, Confidence Yagba and Shadrach Akwe. Now introducing the boxer, fighting out from the blue corner, from the Fifth Square Boxing Gymnasium, under the tutelage of the coach, Latakwe Latte. And this is the man with the weight of 135 pounds, with the official record of nine fight, two to fight, seven wins. Five of the wins came by way of knockout, presenting to you the boxer, Ari. Switching over to the right corner, this is another boxer with a very, very impressive record with a weight of 133 pounds from the Atokwashi Boxing Gym here in Accra under the tutelage 
of the deputy coach of the Black Bombers of Ghana, Coach Aka Nate. This is the man with the official record of 19 fights, 2 defeats, 17 wins, and 13 of the wins. Came by way of knockout, presenting to you the boxer, Michael Gadu. And the man in the center of this fight is no other person than me. Mr. Akako. That's glove. Good luck. Well, we are getting ready for the second bout of the evening as a lightweight contest schedule. Round so six. One. Rounds. So at Okwashi's Michael Ofedodu is taking on Fit Square's Eric Kwam. Eric Kwam is the boxer in the uh, white trunks. Or Jude, should I describe that as the blinks trunks? <laughs> and of course his opponent, Ofedodu, in the uh, yellow. And uh, straight away, two boxers get into action. And they have a lot of support here as well. Kwam throws a big one, doesn't land. Good response from Ofe Dodu. A wild right by Ofe Dodu. And Kwam would want to retaliate with a few jabs of his own. Trying to keep Ofe Dodu at bay. The referee in charge of this fight is uh, May Mensa Akako. And he's looking on closely as these two boxes engage in a tussle. That was a wild throw from Ofe Dodu. It missed the target completely and sent him to the canvas. That's a lovely toothpaste smile from the lady who was watching with close attention here. Gets one to the head of uh, Kwam and misses with a wild right. Kwam retaliates with a few body punches. Fair on the back step now. Gets a few punches to the head of Kwam. But Kwam working on the body now. Still body punches. Two punches to the head. Referee is watching closely and he's asked them to stop. I think there's been a couple of uh, low punches. Yes. And Kwam is being penalized for that or he's been given a warning a few low blows Ofei Dodu says he's good to go interesting first round of this lightweight bout scheduled for six wild one by Ofei Dodu misses right again and then a whooping right miss there from Kwam Both uh, boxers really taking no time to size each other up. Sprung straight into action. And the referee signaled for the commencement of the first round. Lots of rich experience May Mensa Akako has. One to the head from Palm. He's been penalized for that rabbit punch. Kwam comes forward once again. Fredo do throws a big one. Did not land. End of the first round. We've seen a flurry of punches. We've seen wild misses as well. Well, exactly. I mean, a very explosive first round. For me, it goes for Eric Kwam. He had a better shot, better jabs. I mean, both boxers going for the power punches and they, they were missing widely. You would expect them to be more composed. More music on TrendyBeats.com Palm again, dishing out some power punches Using the body very well Again, straight jabs A straight power punch, straight to the face Of Michael Dodo there, Michael Dodo missing With that hook Again it was Eric Kwam, showing how powerful he is 
combination of left, right, hooks. And going for the body shot again. Eric Kwam. Thought he won the, the, the particular round, the second first round. Eric Kwam. Round two. So here we go with the second uh, round of the second bout of the evening. Fight night three of the Deluxe Professional Boxing League. Quick warning to the two boxers, and then round two begins. God miss that the two boxers will both stay on their feet. And it looks like Quam is the one trying to look for that opportunity uh, to rock one. If I do be being careful. And their supporters, their fans are urging them on. Arena is gradually getting filled up. It's fight night screen. And that's a very big one. Left to the head of Kwam. Uh, Doing well, landing a couple. Not too sure whether it's a tactic, but Ofe Dodo seems to be uh, ducking quite low. And uh, because of that, Kwam has been uh, issued with a warning once already to prevent the uh, or to, to desist from uh, low punches. It's now an opportunity for them to uh, keep themselves at bay with a few jabs. <laughs> Ofe leading with a uh, left jab, looking for an opening for that explosive right. And uh, he got the opportunity but missed. Bomb comes back, puts him in the corner, and tries to work on the body. Kwam seems to be doing quite well. There in your shot is the man who just won the uh, international world title, George Ashi, Red Tiger they call him. Winner of the ABU title, winner of the Universal Boxing Council titles as well. Afei <laughs> Dodu comes forward once again. And that obviously will be a warning for Kwam as we come to the end of the round. Well, the same energy we saw in the first round. This time around, the two boxers were a little more tactical. I mean, we saw Dodo trying to it's go DJ with the power hooks, awesome. trying to throw the hooks. And anytime he misses, there, Eric Kwam tried to capitalize. But it has been a very good round for Michael Dodo. His movement was excellent, but still throwing some wild punches. First of all, just look at that left hook from Dodu. And Eric Kwam still going for the body shots. Very, very powerful shots. And combinations there from Eric Kwam. Just look at those combinations. That was very energetic round. Seconds out. Round three. Seconds are out. In we go for the third round. About to scheduled for six. It's a lightweight contest. And it's between Michael Ofedo, the chap in yellow trunks. He's representing the Atopashi boxing gym. And Fit Square has uh, Eric Kwam coming in with the uh, white trunks. 
and so they continue from where they left off. Pretty much the same modus operandi for Ofe Dodu especially, looking for that opening. Some good punches there, Ofe. It's rocked by one from Kwam, and then Kwam goes to the body. Kwam misses as well, goes out of the ring, but still on his feet. Right from the first round, it's been exciting in this bout. So again, both boxers not getting too accurate uh, with the punches they're throwing. Wild misses here and there. Kwam works on the body once again. Ah, uh, uppercut goes through. A face rocked again and again. And Kwam would want to keep him in the corner for a little bit longer as they trade in the punches. Quick warning to Kwam. And then the two go at each other once again. A fair misses with the left. And a few times, referee May Mensa Akako has had to come in to. Uh, oh, that was a big rock. Ofe backpedals into the corner again and give Quams an advantage for target practice. Oh, it's a give and take affair now. And the crowd. They're up on their feet. They love what they see. A lot of determination from the two boxers, especially Kwam, waits to get a fair into the corner and then goes to work on the body. That's a big one to the uh, head of uh, Ofe. Interesting round it has been. And the ladies would want to have a go at it in terms of argument. End of the third round. It's been exciting. It's been explosive. And the boxers have lived up to expectation. And I'm sure the ladies are loving every bit of it. Fireworks here at the Book of Boxing Arena. I mean, both bo boxers have shown that energy. But they have been, they have been throwing some powerful, powerful punches. But for me, between the two boxers, it's Eric who appears to be the better of the two. I mean, punches are being thrown left and right. But anytime Dodo misses, just look at the counter, the counter punches from Eric Kwam. He has been superb. And he goes for the body, he goes for the uppercut. And those uppercuts really went, landed about two serious uppercuts. It has been a very wonderful round, but I still go for Eric Kwam for this round. Into mix. Look at the energy. Seconds out. Seconds out. Round what a fight. This, this is just the second bout of the evening. Fourth round. And the boxers will have a go at each other once again. All fans are loving every bit of it so far. That's a big one from Kwam. Wild miss there from uh, Kwam. May Mensa Akako has had to step in a few times. But he's still getting an NS. It's now the turn of Ofer Dodu to show what he's made of as he takes Kwam into the corner and then the clinching comes in. Of 
Ofer Dodo looks eager. Ofer Dodo is the uh, boxer in the yellow trunks. Uppercut failed to go through there from Palm. And quickly they go in for the clinch. Without a doubt, the boxers are giving their all. It's a lightweight bout is scheduled for six. And a slip there from Ofer Dodo. Kwam wants to take the advantage. He still stands on his feet though. And Kwam working on the body of Fe. It's under the cosh. And can he get out of this? Apakat goes through. Body punches. And then Kwam also goes out of the ring. <laughs> Not only is the bout tough, but it's also entertaining as well. At this stage, it obviously is going to be difficult separating the two boxes. And this is the time that one would not want to be a boxing judge. They cool down the, uh, their nerves as they walk through the uh, jabs. And then Ofer Dodu's uh, guard comes out. Temporary halt. We'll get back into it. So here they go once again. But it's obviously that they are getting tired by the minutes. Good punches to uh, Kwam. Kwam walks into a big punch from Ofer. It's been a very eventful and entertaining third round. I've not seen a jab yet. Every jab is a power punch, Prince. This is this is show you how explosive this bout has become. And there, the man in your shot, the man of the moment, Mr. Max Otechi. But of course, we are enjoying this particular bout between Michael Dodu and Eric Kwam. But look, one thing that is for sure here, Eric Kwam has been very, very good with the uppercuts. And anytime Michael Dodu misses with those ferocious punches, I mean, he's going for the wild punch, the heavy punches, and he's always missing with the left hook. And anytime he misses, Kwam goes in. With a counter punch and has been working perfectly for Ariel Kwam, but these two boxers are showing everything. They are giving everything. I mean, they have been pretty explosive, very exciting. Now we want to see more. Seconds out, round five. We are one step close to the end of this bout. It's the fifth round. It's scheduled for six. And a bit of a warning there from May Mensa Akako. The two boxers uh, would oblige. Ofei Dodu in the yellow trunks. And he's representing the Akto Kwashi boxing gym. Eric Kwam is representing Fit Square. Eric Kwam is in the white trunks. Fair goes down. Not too sure whether that was a low, a low blow. Didn't see. I thought it was straight to the stomach. Yeah. It was a body punch. But the Dodo holding. Let's see whether we can. Oops. That was low. That was low. Yeah. yeah. That was low. Juan claims innocence. Fair Dodo giving a little bit of a, res a respite, and this was going to be the last warning that May Mensa Akako is giving to Eric Kwam. Good punch there from uh, Kwam. Fair counters. 
Rob missed my offense. Okay, so a first corner seemed to be giving signals. Not too sure what that is all about. But Quam, again, missing some of the uh, punches, but works on the body of a fair now. A big punch there from a fair. And as a member of the Ghana Boxing Authority, Lord Aquit. It's a big one there from Quam. A first to stand tall, tries to retaliate. Ducks and misses. Both boxers have worked on the body without a doubt. And it's a fair now who seems to be gaining the upper hand, getting his target. And Quam puts him back on the ropes. Oh, that's a big one. Quam had his guard down. Walk right into it. Ofer wants to take the advantage. And again, a warning from May Men's Nakako. Some good punches being thrown now by Ofer. Into the corner they go to. Lots of flinching. Quam shakes his head. He says, I can take everything. Bring it on. So I'm sure that we're going to wait for an explosive sixth and the last round. Well, we've seen a lot, a lot of energy here, but Prince, to be honest with you, I've not been pretty much excited with the accuracy of punches. There's been power. They've been throwing a lot of punches. But you don't see those brilliant jabs. You don't see those accurate power punches. It has been everywhere. I mean, hooks, uppercuts, but they've been missing. Yeah, we see another power punch from Quam. Missing. You know, that power punch again. Then there have been other hooks, body shots here and there. It has not been the best in terms of accuracy. And the, and the accuracy in which the two boxers are throwing the punches has not been the best. We should, we should talk about it. It has been very, very energetic, very explosive. But the accuracy level of punches is not the best. Yeah, and, and, and both boxes just look at another wild punch missing. They get down. Seconds out. Six and the final round. So here we are, sixth and the last round for this bout. They've got three minutes to win it. Wild miss there from uh, Kwam. Lightweight contest between, uh, between these two boxers representing Atokwashi and Fit Square. Into the corner. Kwam's favorite. Tries to keep a fair do do there. Quams come forward and uh, again looking for that opening. Afraid Dodo seems to have his guard down, and I'm sure Quam is looking for that opening. He's missed a few of the punches, uh, Quam, but so has uh, Afraid Dodo. Quam walks into a left. Another left to the face of uh, Quam. <laughs> Judges at ringside for this bout. Clement has shown confidence in Hagbert and uh, Shadrach Akwe. 
Wild Miss Malfit. Still puts on the pressure. They have just over a, uh, over a minute to settle this. One to the head of uh, Kwam. Affair looks good. Sends another one in. It's now the opportunity for Kwam. Had his, low, uh, his guard low on that occasion. And Ofe Dodu punished him for that. Into the corner they go. We are just about 30 over 30 seconds left. It's a give and take affair in the corner. Kwam goes down. Kwam goes down. Once his glove touched the canvas, he obviously would receive the mandatory eight count. He goes in, trying to finish this into the last 10 seconds of the bout. Both boxers, well, have given an account of themselves. It's not been the, be the, the very best. But uh, it's the end of the second bout of the evening, Fight Night 3. And obviously, there is a story to tell. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, shall we put our hands together for the two pugilists? Incredible stuff. We are waiting for the verdict. Let me respectfully and humbly invite Joseph Kinkon Agbeko. The former world champ to join me in the ring before the verdicts, the Joseph Kinkon Agbeko. Joseph Kinkon Agbeko, please join me in the ring. Let me have you in the ring before the verdicts. Shall we once again put our hands together for these boxes? This is incredible. It's amazing. No, let him, let him come to the ring. Let him come to the ring. Joseph Kinkon Agbeko, join me in the ring for the verdicts. And after the verdict, you would go back to Cecil and Caesar for the interview. We are now waiting for the verdict. Very interesting fight.
Yes, I have the verdict. Listen, gentlemen, it's, it's very important for me to acknowledge these personalities before the verdicts. We have the chief executive officer, the chairman of IMAX Media Group here, Mr. Maxwell Techi. Shall we put our hands together for him, please? Let's put our hands together for him. And he's here with his uncle, who is a big man at IMAX, Mr. Gilbert. Maxwell Sefa Techi is also here. Mr. Sefa Techi, thank you very much for coming. And we have the son of Mr. Maxwell Techi. Gilbert Maxwell is here. Gilbert, how are you? Thank you so much for coming. We also have Mark Lozzi from Shaka Mobile. Thank you so much for coming, sir. And the man from the Bet King, Ryan, thank you so much for coming. We appreciate your presence here. Now, the verdict. Judge one scored about 57 to 58. Judge two scored about 55 to 58. And Judge three scored about 59 to 55. So by a split point decision, the winner is the boxer. Harry Kwam. So Harry Kwam is the winner. Joseph Kinkona Beko. This is very interesting results. Now, Joseph Kinkona Beko, you're welcome to the Bukum Boxing Arena for the, the Luxury Professional Boxing League. Now, tell me, how do you feel about this fight? Uh, I think uh, it's a great pleasure to see these young fighters uh, giving it all. You can, you can see that they both came to fight. They both came to give, it, uh, give their best. And uh, the, win, uh, the best man uh, took the win. Now, it, it looks like there's so much talk about the verdicts. Are you satisfied with the verdicts? Uh, I would say uh, the referee and the judges... Uh, they train to do this job and whatever they say uh, that's what's happened okay. your, your final word to people watching is uh, live on max television come again now your final words to viewers watching us live on max tv uh i'll say uh max tv is doing a great job ghana boxing authority is doing a great job uh it's good to see such a competitive fight you know uh, i wish both of them uh, best of luck okay. i believe both of them are uh world beaters and uh, they should go back to the gym and work hard and then come back great okay. yeah. thank you joseph king that is the former world champ 